is m by e i into dx or the area of the bending moment diagram between a and b. So if this area is basically gives me the difference of the slope. Now what is this area? It's pretty easy. Half into now this is equal to PL by 4 as we all know. Half into PL by 4 into this is equal to L by 2. So this is equal to nothing but PL squared by 16 which is basically now theta b is equal to 0 and that is minus of theta a. So basically what we have now is theta a and this is in the clockwise direction is equal to PL squared by 16 clockwise. Now let us try to see whether we can find out y max also now. Now we know that if I draw some kind of a tangent like this it will be some kind of a thing like this and the difference of this point B from this tangent at A is basically this and let's say this is nothing but delta dash right. Now what will be that delta dash can be found out by the second moment area theorem right and let us do that first. Now delta dash will be essentially equal to nothing but delta from A to B that is the statical moment of area of the statical moment of the bending moment area with respect to B. So the moment of this so first this area what is this area half into PL by 4 into L by 2 into the distance the centroid of this area has from this point and this is essentially if this is L by 2 1 by 3 into L by 2 that is L by 6 that is the centroid lies here right so into L by 6 right into 1 by EI that is a flexural rigidity so essentially what I have here is PL cube by 2 into 4 8 8 into 16 96 PL cube by 96 EI is my delta dash that is this now is this my y max no definitely not now to find out the value of y max what we need to do now now we have one in from one relation what we have is theta a is nothing but is equal to pl squared by 16 ei and delta dash is equal to pl cube by 96 ei now Theta a, that is, for example, it's it's like this. Then theta a is this. So theta a into l by two. If this is suppose l by two, theta a into l by two will give me basically this total length, right? And if we can subtract this delta dash, that this this length from this, we can get the measure of y max. So essentially, uh, theta a into L by 2 is essentially equal to PL squared by 16 EI into L by 2 that is equal to PL cubed by 32 EI right so this is the total deflection or I should say the difference or uh, this total length right is equal to PL cubed by 32 EI and we know that delta dash is equal to PL cube by 96 EI. So we can subtract PL cube 32 EI and this we can get the value of Y max. So Y max will be essentially equal to, I'm very sorry, Y max will be equal to 96, uh, I should say, uh, this will be equal to 3 minus 1, right. That is 2 by 96, that is 1 by 48 PL cube by EI. So PL cube by 48 EI is my Y max and theta at A, as this is symmetrical, this will be also equal to theta at C, will be equal to PL squared by 16 EI. And this was basically an exhib exhibition of the performing the moment area theorem by taking a simple example. So that's all for this lecture. Thanks a lot for listening. Thank you.